Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's all about full makeup inspiration with contouring and highlighting. As always, we will start by hydrating her skin using the Instant Light Spray Makeup Base I'm going to apply onto her skin. And with my fingertip, I'm going to tap into her skin so that I make sure that the product is getting inside. Next is highlight and I'm using the concealer in number 1 and my concealer brush which is in number 17 to add into the areas that I want to add more light to which is the center of her forehead, the under eye area by drawing a v-shape this is a full coverage concealer so the pigment will be really very intense the chin and I'm going to add also a little bit under her eyebrow to lift them up next is contour and I'm using the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation in number 50 and my concealer brush which is in number 18 to add to the areas that I want to add more shadow to which is the roots of her hair, her cheeks, the nose and also her jawline. I'm going to add a little bit over the lips as well to add more dimension. This is the canvas of my contour and highlight and now it's time for blending. To make the blending very easy, I'm going to add onto my brush, which is in number 10, the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation in number 30. And I'm going to blend everything together, making sure that I keep the highlighted areas and the contoured areas in focus, so I don't blend everything together. I classify the face usually into three parts, the upper, the middle, and the lower, and I blend each part separately. I'm blending now her cheeks and when I feel that the blending is really puffed out and I don't have any harsh lines, it means that I need to stop. Puffing out her highlights with a dry beauty blender to tap everything onto her skin and then move to the blending of the nose with brush number 10 that will give me more precision while blending this area. I'm gonna set everything together using my filter effect loose powder in number 0.2 with any powder puff that you have. It's extremely important while puffing the powder not to move the puff onto the face, it's just by tapping. Adding more dimension with the mineralized powder from MAC in Give Me Sun and brush number 39. Next is eyes and I'm using the artist palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills in a dark burg burgundy sorry, color to have it as my base and then with my fingertip I'm going to puff out the color so that it's smooth and ready for my eyeshadow application. Next with my applicator brush which is in number 15 I'm going to use a matte brown color this is also from Anastasia to set my base and then I'm going to puff it out using a reddish or orangey color also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is from the Maya Mia palette using brush number 15. I'm going to add a shimmery color and this is from the Heat palette from Urban Decay. It's a more orangey bronze color. And I'm moving into the lower part of her eyes. I'm gonna do the exactly same thing using my pencil brush which is a number 21. I'm going to puff out the colors with brush number 15 and connecting them together so that I can give her the elong elongated shape that you see and now I'm going to mark her waterline this is from Inglot gel eyeliner and I'm going to apply it inside the waterline and then I'm going to puff it out with a black eyeshadow in my angled brush which is a number 24 while puffing out, it's extremely important to blend everything together. I'm going to add eyeliner on her upper lid so that I make sure that roots of her lashes are extremely uh, black and they are lined perfectly. Next is the eyebrows and I'm using a brown eyeshadow just to fill out her eyebrows in a very natural way so that I don't focus a lot on sharpening the look. I'm applying lashes and these are from Lily Galishi in Venice that will give me the complete look. Now to add some more glam to this look I'm going to apply glitter and this is a gold glitter from Makeup Forever diamond powder in number 3 I'm going also to apply it under her eye area 
I'm just gonna tap a little bit also on the areas that I added the shadow so that it gives this extra sparkle and charming eyes. I'm going to apply a nude color on her lips so that I keep the focus on the eyes. And I make sure that I draw the lips in a symmetrical way. I'm going to add a little bit more blusher and this ginger leaf from MAC with my brush in number 39. Highlighter is a secret highlighter that I'm still working on perfecting the formula, but I think it's getting together. Just add a little bit to the areas that you feel that it needs more light. Here's a quick before and after, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll definitely see you in the next one.